All right, everybody, we are going to take a look at how to uh, do some cool features in Onshape, starting with variables. So uh, when you're designing in Onshape, you can do um, all sorts of things, but one of the cool things is you can add in some variables. So um, I'm going to actually give a few different variables here. We're going to do uh, width, and I'm just going to assign it a number for right now, and do another one, height. Um, make that four, and then I'll make uh, another one called depth, and let's make that one always equal to one half times the width. All right. So whenever you are um, doing or using variables. It's going to be hashtag and then the name that you named that variable. Uh, right now, um, I'm using all length variables. You can make angle variables or number variables. So it acts as a number. It's not necessarily a, um, a distance per se. But for this one, I'm using a length. All right, so see how that populated to be three inches while that's six inches. If I change this one to eight inches, then that one's going to be four. All right, and this one's going to stay four no matter what, even if I make this 12 inches. All right, so that's something to kind of pay attention to. All right, let's go back to six inches. All right, so just to show you um, basically how this affects things, I'm going to make a sketch of a box, and I'm going to make, I'm going to center it, and I'm going to make the width equal to, I, I need to type a number first, and then I can, type letters. If I type letters first, I'll try to do shortcut keys. So I just usually do that. And then um, I need that to be height. All right. And I drop down. If I'm on the iPad, it's not going to um, pull up the drop down like that. I have to type the whole thing. Um, so that's where there's definitely an advantage to have the um, uh, computer instead of an iPad. All right. So I'm going to finish that. Here's my sketch. If I extrude that, and I'll make that amount equal to my depth variable. All right, so now I have a box that is currently six by four by three. If I change my width to 12 inches, now it's 12 by four by six. I can change that to eight inches if I want to. All right, and every time I change a variable, it's gonna change everything um, accordingly, All right? So I can make that, now I have a rectangular prism and I can determine the height, width, and depth of that thing without having to do um, any changes to the sketches or to the extrude. It's really, really helpful.